I'm Tracy Snelling. Today I'm going out on patrol with GMP in the Ratcliffe area. The team has changed quite a lot, especially with things like Twitter. I actually live in Outwood, which is just up the road from Whitefield. And um, it's quite a fairly quiet area now. It didn't used to be. It used to have a lot of antisocial behaviour. But it seemed to calm down since they brought the PCSOs in. That's really helped. Um, the only major problem we have now is the quad bikes on the Outward Trail and the scramble bikes. We have a lot of that. And I know they're hard to catch, but that is our main problem at the moment. Yeah, well, so I've been following uh, the police on Twitter and Facebook, which I think is great, this social yes. media, for the interact uh, interactive the with them. And to, to now I can see for myself, uh, hands on, what they actually are doing. Then, and it'll be better than before. just reading about it. Um, I'm not sure what is, what's going to be out there, but I'll know after today. <laughs> the obvious entrance points here for, for off-road bikes, um, they, can, they can get in there quite easily. We looked at uh, problems with off-road bikes, which is a main problem where she lives. Uh, we looked at uh, local community groups, work, working with multi-agency, working with Berry Council. We have a youth centre. Um, we have rock football on a Friday evening, which is, makes a, a, a massive difference. We've got like 50 to 60 kids there on a weekend, taking them off the streets, away from antisocial behaviour, and it makes a massive difference to people's lives who live in the local community. Well, I we went down to the Metrolink to see what the um, PCSOs were doing because there's been some incidents lately where obviously there's fair dodgers, but there's also been incidents of um, antisocial behaviour. Um, and I've seen myself when I've been to pick my son up as some forms of antisocial behaviour where the children are either trying to break into bike sheds that are there for the passengers or they're running up and down the hills and throwing things just general things like that so it's good to see that they are out and about and active and it does give you that reassurance that you do want to use the trams. I've been very impressed, um, I've learnt things about Ratcliffe that I didn't know, um, about the Rock Cafe I didn't know that exists, the involvement that the PCSOs have got with the youth, um, the football which is absolutely great. Um, I can't get over how much the neighbourhood police, it, it does mean a lot I've seen it from this, this side now, I've seen it from the Twitter side, but seeing it on, out on patrol, it is a marvellous job that they're doing and I can't praise them enough. The actual involvement that's going on outside of the police work, the involvement within the community, bringing everybody together to get the public to come forward and give them the intelligence they need to correct things that are going wrong. To be honest, I don't think there is any criticism. I've been really impressed by how, it, how they are acting. It's, it's re it really has been an eye-opener. It's a great idea because you, instead of just getting information in from members of the public, you get to speak to someone who, who lives within the community. We do this on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, to, sh to get the opportunity to show them what we do and the amount of work that goes into policing, not, not just the obvious, I think it, it is a very good opportunity to, to be able to do that. I hope that more people will come forward and go onto the GMP website and apply. I think they'll learn a lot from it. <laughs> One of the questions he asked me about was what did I think about the neighbourhood police? Was it a right. good idea? And seeing this today, yes, it really is. Yeah. It's been yeah. a really good laugh, even though it has been freezing, but the spirit's been there and the humorous side to the police is there as well.